Let's take a look at this problem. We got 3 plus 5 natural log of x is equal to 1. Now, our first step get everything with the log on one side, numbers on the other side. So I'm going to take this uh, 3 over to the right side. When I say numbers, I'm talking about constant terms. So we've got 5 natural log of x is equal to 1 minus 3. Always in mathematics, no matter where you are, you should combine together numbers, like terms. 1 minus 3 is negative 2. Now, as you look at this, we got everything a log on this side and numbers on this side. But, um, for step 2, it says get a single log uh, using properties of logs or algebra. Well, we could take the 5, put as a power on the x, but that would give us x to the 5th. And that would make the problem really hard. There's another way to get the log by itself. We'll divide both sides by 5. When I do that, these uh, 5 is going to cancel. And we've got natural log of x is equal to negative 2 fifths. Step 3. Use definition log to rewrite an exponent form. Now, whatever uh, number normally follows this is our base, but there isn't any number there. But it's ln. Whenever you have natural log, that's always your base is equal to e. And then what follows that is going to be our q, and then the other side is going to be our p. So our expo exponent form is b to the p is equal to q. b was uh, e to the negative 2 fifths power, that's our p, is equal to q, which is x. Now step 4 says solve for x. There's not a whole lot to do here except for the fact that I notice I got a negative exponent. Um, I'm going to put it over 1. I'm going to create a fraction. We never want negative exponents. We always move them opposite where they are in a fraction. And of course to have that, we ha in order to do that, we have to have a fraction. So now I'm going to take this e to the negative 2 fifths and move it downstairs. When you move anything opposite of where it's at in a fraction, the sign of the exponent changes. So the e to the negative 2 fifths becomes an e to the positive 2 fifths. Equals x. And that would be your answer. Now if I plug that back in over here, it won't give us log of 0 or log of negative number. So I don't think. Uh, let me see. No, no, it doesn't. So um, I was uh, confused there for a second. Uh, this is actually, uh, e is 2.7. 2.7 e power is positive, and 1 divided by a positive number is positive, so natural log of a positive number is fine.